Hello viewer. So some more 3D pen um, work today. So I've actually just got a few little um, projects that I thought I would cover off today. Um, one is one of these little battery kits that I made made up. So these are just for charging the um, 3.7 volt lithium ion batteries. But I'm just getting a bit annoyed with the way these cables keep coming out. So I was going to do something a bit simple and just fill in the space here with a bit of uh, filament using the 3D pen. Um, I mean, I could of course use hot glue, but um, the 3D pen seems to do a pretty good job. There we go, she's all hot it up. Oops, speed her up a bit. So pretty much that simple. That should do the trick quite nicely for that. Um, there we go. Now my cords are captured. <laughs> that easy. So, actually just while I've got it, I might as well do a little bit of pulling there. I can't say that achieved anything because it was already stuck in pretty nicely but um, hey it was there I was there the 3d pen was there why not one next one so as I mentioned last video I've recently got myself a um, GoPro um, and I printed out some um, accessories for it now this accessory here I didn't realize at the time but it's it separates now that that's designed to lock into um, a, a receiver of some form um, so you would lock that end in so this this just moves like that so you would lock that end in you would position that end in and then when you bolt it through that makes it all nice and solid um, so it won't come out I don't need that feature I'm actually going to use this for mounting the um, GoPro for doing these videos. So I'm just going to quickly pull these in and make it no longer mountable as it were. And then I'm just going to drill a couple of holes and put some screws in. So. This is just something I didn't realise at the time when I was um, printing it. Um, it's it's you now this is all somebody else's design. I have I haven't designed these. Um, not much point to reinvent the wheel, really. Um, so underneath, I just slowed the feed down because I want to get more in. I can just smooth it off with the craft knife afterwards. There we go. So that should lock that in quite nicely now. Don't need any great strength on this. So it's more around just providing a bit of, oh yeah, well that's, that'll be nice and solid. Um, so basically what I'll do is I'll be drilling a couple of holes here and there, mounting it up to um, the board above my desk, and then I can just 
um, swivel. It's a bit tight at the moment, but then I can just swivel it to, to suit the angle that I need. And then jobs are good. Um, so the next one's a little bit different. So I'm going to swap this out to ABS. So at the moment I've got PLA because the prints were done on PLA. So just swap this one out to ABS. Let's speed that up. If you're going to do this with yours, just be quick because um, that end is actually hot. Um, so I'm going to turn it off. Turn it back on. And switch it to ABS. And hit the go button. There we go. So that's now heating for ABS. So just a bit high temperature. So what I've got here, this is a power supply from um, just a, a 12 volt pack that you can use to also jump start your car etc. Um, and I've had it for a while and basically it's, it's broken. Now I actually made this, this is a, this and this are two separate parts. So this is from a New Zealand type plug, whereas the original one here, this and this, had the US style plug. Um, so what he did was, is I cut the, the shape into the New Zealand style plug um, to mount the US style unit and pulled the pins out on the US one, ran some wires through, sold them up at the back. So it's, you know, it's been safe and it's been useful. Um, but um, the bit that I've done is actually still nice and solid. The original bit is actually broken. Um, so I'm just going to do a little bit of reinforcing around where I've done it. Um, So what, because what I've used here is actually hot glue to join it together. Um, and these sides here have actually just, just basically just close fit, you know, they're not actually bonded. Um, so this will just provide, oops, sorry, I've gone out of frame. That's not meant to happen. I'm meant to be keeping an eye on that. There you go. might not be pretty and this has suffered a break on the plastic there so I'm just gonna put a bit of pressure on so I'm not too sure how well this will come out I think it's feeding, I'm oh, sorry, I'm out of frame again. Sorry, I'm bringing it close to me so I can sort of see what I'm doing and concentrate. Um, but that just brings it out of focus for you guys, so just bear with me on that one. Still, uh, let's see, that hasn't worked at all. Oh, it's because I've completely missed it. So I'm going to slow that down a bit more. Um, let it heat up again. There we go. Try that again. Mm -hmm. 
I'm just going to wait for it to heat. There we go. So she's not actually free. Uh, And sometimes with the PLA it just doesn't um, stay hot enough, long enough, so it cools down too quick. Okay, hopefully that's better. So I'll align the board. Speed up the drive a little bit. Oops, I'm not going right up. Sorry, I'm wrong with this. Keep going out of frame again, don't I? So I can actually see when I go out of frame because um, I've got the GoPro hooked up to the phone. So I can actually see the display. Um, quite a neat little feature. But of course, if I'm watching this, I'm not watching the phone and I'm not seeing it go out of frame. So, while it's quite a good little feature, um, it's still easy to screw up as the user. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually just going to pull in this part. So this is just where I've previously used um, hot glue. Um, So like I've previously mentioned, I'm no artist, so this is not going to be fresh. I'm sure there's people out there that could probably do some nice detailed work with this. Um, that's not me. So if I want to do something nice and detailed, I'll probably have to just 3D print it. But oh yeah, that's, that's certainly solid, a lot more solid than what it was before. But I guess with some practice, I'll be able to get better at using this. Um, so far, you know, what I've used before doesn't really matter. Um, it's not like, you know, this, this is not like a project to be released as it were. Um, this is just for my own use. And I, I don't, you know, recommend to most people um, mucking around with power supplies. But if you've got a little bit of electrical knowledge then and you, and you, you know, you can be sure that you're doing it safely and maintaining proper insulation on the mains electrical, then, you know, it's, it's a good way of using a item um, that would otherwise potentially be, have to be rubbish, you know. Because I'd much rather have something like this, you know, than use 
one of the, the cheap and nasty adapters um, to go from the US to the New Zealand plugs you know I really don't don't like and can't recommend those um, so that is actually not pretty I will definitely say not pretty though I, I'll I can I'll follow that down a little bit with the um, with the rasp I find the wood rasps quite good to use on um, the 3d printing plastics um, just to smooth off edges and um, repair the mess that I've made especially you know something like this where it is it is not pretty but once you get a few of the lumps off it'll, it'll, it'll look a lot better than what it does now but that is solid again so yeah I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that so there you go another few uses with the 3d pen um, certainly still very happy with uh, this little unit um, you know I've, I've used it quite a lot I mean I haven't shown obviously every single thing that I've done um, and yeah it's been good working well not bad for the price I paid and on a little side note this is the this is the app that I'm using for the um, and let's see if I can get it there we go <laughs> for the GoPro so I can just um, I can monitor it I can start the record stop the record change the settings um, it's, it's quite good so it's the proper GoPro app um, so yeah it's, it's really handy so I can monitor what's been videoed um, there's, there's a slight delay you know as you can see yeah, there's a slight delay there but um, it's certainly useful I can just glance at it and go oops I'm out of frame again um, so yeah a lot better than before where I was, I was blind um, I couldn't see what I was videoing at all so this this is really useful so again, again thanks for watching um, just thought I'd show a couple of quick um, jobs using the 3d pen since I had them all all to do at the same time and um, certainly recommend um, certainly recommend the 3d pens um, a lot of fun okay cheers for now